Hi students. Today we're going to take notes on types of circuits. We're going to do it a little bit different today though. We're actually going to see the pictures and I'm going to lecture a little bit first. And then you're going to write all the notes that will be displayed. So you could just pause the video and then copy them at your own speed. And you know, think of what you just heard and then write your summary at the end. Okay, let's begin. Once you have your um, title and the date set up, the lecture part. So a circuit, when you're talking about electricity, is a path where electrons can flow. So the word electricity comes from the word electron. Electron, electricity, you hear that? So in a circuit, the electrons flow, usually from the negative, or always, from the negative uh, part of the battery to the positive side. And other parts of the circuit are like the load. The load is what's doing the work. So the electrons are going into the light bulb and they are being converted into uh, heat and light. So that they're doing a, the work of creating uh, light. So that's the load. So microwave, charging your phone, all those would be loads. If the circuit is incomplete, then you do not have the flow of electrons. And that's what a switch does. When you turn on and off your lights, what the switch is doing is completing and then disconnecting the path for the electrons to flow. There's two types of circuits. In a series circuit, the electrons flow in a path, but there's only one path they can take. Christmas lights used to be connected in series circuit, and when one of the Christmas lights would go off, the other ones wouldn't work either. So if this light bulb breaks, this one won't operate anymore. There's advantages of having a series versus a parallel circuit. And there's advantages and there's disadvantages. Depends on what you're trying to make. Here you have a parallel circuit. In a parallel circuit, as you can see, there are different paths that can, the electrons can take. With a parallel circuit, if one of the paths is broken, the electrons can still flow through the other path. You, your home is uh, wired in a parallel circuit. So in case one of the sockets, let's say, uh, is disconnected, let's say a wire here is damaged, the other sockets will be unaffected. Okay, now that that's done, the lecture part of this, here are the notes for today, which are include what we, uh, just, uh, we just heard. So take a few minutes to write your summary, the notes, the advanced question, and also the questions on the left. Have a great day.